So I took her to the hospital, took her to the emergency room, and they tested her, did a series of tests on her and sent her back home. So she said, well, since I'm up here, let me just stay at your house for a while. So that's my mom. I would love to have her stay with me. Um, so I took her home with me. And two days later, I looked in the portal and that's where I saw that her COVID results were positive. I was shocked, stunned and amazed. And my husband was there with me and immediately our thinking had to change. How we did things began to change. There were times when I was in the room with no mask because I just didn't think it was COVID. I didn't think it was COVID. So anytime I would hear her cough, I'm running, trying to see what, you know, is it anything that I can do to help? And, um, I noticed she was resting a lot, sleeping a lot. It was unusual. I'd never seen anyone sleep that long. That next day when we got up, she said that next morning, I never thought this would be the last time I would see my mom um, Saturday morning. She said, I want to go to the hospital. So we were prepared to take her. And she said, no, I want the ambulance to come and get me. So I had to call my, my family, my brother, my sister, and my dad. And I said, well, mom wants to go to the hospital. And, you know, you hear what they say on the news. And once they go in the hospital, a lot of times they don't come back. So trying to think positive, I'm like, well, you know, we've been in this for a while now. So maybe they, you know, gotten better at this. So we'll send her with the expectation that she's coming back home. They decided to keep her. So we would call up there at least two times a day. They would tell us about her breathing and her oxygen. She did have some underlying issues, um, but we didn't, I don't know. You just don't think it would happen to you. I never thought COVID was a hoax, but I all and I always took precaution. She always took precaution. I just never thought this would hit my front door. The last day they called, um, they were saying that they were going to put her on the ventilator. And a lot of times when you hear ventilator, instantly you think death. And we said, well, no, maybe this is just going to help her get better. Still not thinking I would never see my mom again. They called my dad that morning saying that they was getting ready to call. I was getting ready to call you, Mr. Wiggins, and tell you that she's doing so much better. But she went into cardiac arrest twice and uh, she never recovered.